Map Journal is absolutely one of the favorite workstations that we do in our room, um, but it does take some practice and some learning to get to where students are independent, especially in K-1 and even second grade. I have math journals for the entire year for grades K to four, and I'm also sharing a big freebie today with labels and tabs and cutting and folding and gluing practice to help you get started in your own classroom. So let's take a look at how we get started with math journaling. One of the main attributing factors to success in journaling in my classroom is having a teacher math journal that's already prepared. You can tell this one has seen some days. Um, this is a second grade math journal and it's just going to show the formatting of what the activities will look like. When I first started this, and this one is a few years old, so there have been updates to these. Um, I was going week by week, if not day by day, to create that. But once you have it created, then it makes it really nice to be able to pull it out, put it under the document camera, and get started. So, before we can use Math Journal as a workstation, we want to teach some different components of Math Journaling in a whole group setting. And one of those, of course, is how to cut on a dotted line. So I have included some cutting practice pages for you that you can do with your students just to reiterate that we cut on dotted and we fold on solid. I've also included some folding practice pages where you can teach all the techniques of pinching and corners and all of those things. It's in the freebie for you. And I also have a blog post explaining that as well with the same information. Then there are some practice activities where we're going to highlight how we glue, how we cut, how we fold, and it's, it's all built in there. There's also some goal setting with those same helpful tips that this is being explicitly taught. So I will model it, then they will do it. And we may only be doing one of the actual boxes. I give you more because everyone has different abilities. This would be more of a second, third, fourth version. And this is something I do day one because they are much more apt to cutting, folding, and responding. Another big um, and exciting freebie that is in the download is going to be different journal labels for the front. There's five different ones that you can choose from. So that's fun for setting up the cover of your math journal. I also, instead of a one, this would be my uh, mine, but I also put the student's name on a label here. So there's the, the title label and the student name label. Um, okay, so in the freebie, I'm so excited to show you this, and I only have one hand, so hang on. I have these awesome glue-in tabs that are going to help separate your journal into parts. This is something that's totally optional, and it's and if you want it, I'm going to show you one that has tabs back here. This is Numbers Notebook, and this is Kindergarten. And this poor baby has been through some love. So I used to do my tabs this way, number zero to 10, then we have numbers 11 to 20, comparing numbers and so on. But because they are like this, I was having to staple them to keep them from pulling off. So this is the new and improved version. And these are blank because I wanted to show you that they are editable and you can put absolutely anything that you want there. You can even do it by grading period. You don't have to do it by math strand if you don't want to. So I would do something like number sense, measurement, shapes, whatever you want to do there. Or you can just say, boys and girls, we're going to put in the red tab and um, you maybe just want to put the month. It's totally flexible and it's editable. So 
The thing is, with these, I'm so sorry, um, they glue in this way, so the tab is not going to pull off. There's no staple needed, and it makes it very sturdy. So I'm excited about this update to bring to you, and it's in this freebie file only. So whether you own Numbers Notebook or not, you will be able to go get these and edit them to perfection. So that's in there, and I wanted you to see. I chose to run them in, you know, rainbow order, but you do you. It's, it's awesome. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about is what is the difference between Math Journal and Numbers Notebook. I get this all the time, and I want to explain it for you. Math Journal is spiral review. So that means that I'm going to emphasize a particular strand such as the first one being number sense in most grade levels for K to 2 and then it also will spiral review previously learned skills. Now for the first one obviously for number sense we are brand new to the year this is our first strand so it's all going to be mostly about number sense but in the subsequent volumes for math journal you will have a focus and then you will see spiral review of different standards. So this is because when I send them out to stations and I'm still teaching a brand new concept, I want them to continue to practice and apply what they've already been exposed to and be reminded of what they know and then connecting that to the new learning. So Math Journal Spiral Reviews. Numbers Notebook is going to stick to one math strand for the entire volume. So if it says number zero to 10, then all of the activities in that volume, and I'm sorry, these have seen some days, they are all gonna be about that same strand. And then when I get to the next strand, it's gonna go into that particular, um, all of them are gonna match that strand. So you're gonna get 25 activities on comparing numbers or 25 activities on measurement, poor baby. <laughs> so I hope this is helping to make your decision. Also in Numbers Notebook, this is a teak, but there's teaks and then there's Common Core. So if you like having the standard right on it, then, um, then you might want the Numbers Notebook. If you like having all of it matchy-matchy, then you might like the numbers notebook. If you want spiral review and you're not worried about having the standard right on the page, then the math journal sets might be more for you. Okay, another awesome thing about the freebie is that we have given you labels for having a cleanup caddy at your tables. So this is something to help Number one, keep students from making a mess with all the paper scraps. Number two, Lee lets them stay at their seat and continue working so no more getting up and heading to the trash can and getting distracted and all of that. They stay at the desk. There's a cleanup caddy in the middle of the table. All scraps go in it. I keep them there all day. And at the end of the day, someone's job is to dump these into the recycle box. So. It eliminates so many students needing to get up and down throughout the whole day. So that is in there and there are two different sizes, the little one like this and then a bigger one like if you wanted to put it on a tub. So um, when I'm doing math journal or numbers notebook, I organize it this way. I run the whole volume, this is third grade, I run the whole volume and I clip them behind my example journal and I have it in a little crate next to my document camera. Then that day that when we're ready, I pop up in the journal, show them the formatting and say, come get this paper and it's going in your journal just like this one. And I'm gonna flip this around and show you that I do the same thing here. I have set it up the same way for numbers notebook. So I show my example one, and this would be first grade numbers notebook. Oops, I'm clipped. Let's do subtraction. So flip it open, and then all of the activities for subtraction are here. 
And so I have my 25 examples of what we're gonna be doing for subtraction in the notebook. Like that, ready to, go. <clears throat> ready to go. And then I have the pages ready. This is kindergarten for my class and I can just pull the one I need. So whether you like numbers notebook or math journal, the freebie is going to incorporate both and it's gonna give you practice pages for that. So um, if you're looking for a journal resource, um, whether it's Numbers Notebook or Math Journal, you can find those in my store. This, they, they're by individual volume, or you can buy the bundle of the whole year. And it just look for your grade level and they either type in Numbers Notebook or Math Journal, and you should find everything you need. Be sure to grab the freebie so you can practice cutting and folding and getting all set up also, I want to show you that there is a contract in the freebie that's a really great reminder to help set expectations. Sorry, trying to find the one I glued it in. Here it is. So I like to have it on the inside cover just because it's a great reminder. And then the goal setting being the first page. You don't have to do it that way, but if you want to, it's there it is. And then I have an example of one of the practice pages. If you want them to glue it in, you don't even have to. And then they write underneath. So another little idea, I don't actually do this, but I want to show it because I have seen a lot of people do it, is for loose pieces, you can glue an envelope to the back of your journal. Um, you'd actually need to then line it with duct tape or some sort of reinforcement because glue is not going to hold all year, um, especially when they're reaching in and out. I personally did not have success with this, but I wanted to show it to you as an option. I know some people also tape ribbon and have it as like a place marker, but I think if you're using these tabs and separating activities out, that's gonna be a really helpful place marker as well, even if you don't label them, even if you print them like I did and you're just like, okay, we're gonna put in a red tab and then we're gonna use each page front and back and then you say it's time to put in an orange tab and then they're kind of forced to at least see it by section. You know, it just really truly, it's. So whatever preference you have, you don't have to do it like anyone else. I hope this has been helpful. I hope this helps explain. The blog post is definitely going to um, be a little more clear and have pictures for you of these same things. All right, bye guys.